How does a pack design showcase a whole movie without using any of the image from the movie? The record I got here is going to show you that. Let's unbox this guy and get started. So here we have the original soundtrack from 2013 movie Her. The music is done by Arcade Fire and Owen Pellet. And this is actually the first time this soundtrack got printed in vinyl after fans requesting it for years. Milan Records, Mondo, and Newbury all released their own variation of the album in limited quantities. My copy is the first pre-order batch from Milan Records. However, this album on Discogs already got pretty negative feedbacks regarding the sound quality and design. Today, I will test the sound quality and try to change your mind on the design since I think this is actually brilliant. Not perfect, but brilliant. Now, let's have an overview of the whole design before I dive into it. The cover is a framed photo of a lady's back and a post-it note on top saying her. Without the flashing stickers on the corner, the cover looks like it has nothing to do with the movie. On the back, it looks like the same wall without the photo. The only thing left is the nail hole at where the photo used to be. The inner sleeve is also minimal. It's all white with a page of note by Arcade Fires with Butler. The note expressed Butler's excitement of being able to create music for Spike Jonze's wonderful script and the origin of the cover photo, which is a photograph done by photographer Todd Hito. So the other side is even more simpler. It's just the song list divided by black and red. One side note is that the album missing the moon song, the song that Theodore and Samantha sang during their cabin getaway in the movie. The minor itself should be pure white, one side is red sticker and the other side should be black. Whew, this is a pretty nice pure white, and the other one side is the black one. People express their um, disappointment here and there saying they have black and uh, weird color on the vinyl. On mine, it seems like closer to the corner there is some black dot and red dot, so it seems like the sticker is kind of mixed into the printing. There's some red spot, and this side we have some black spot on top. And the printing on this design is actually pretty nice. So they use a more matte finishing on the uh, post-it note on the cover, and the photo itself is a more glossy finishing. And with that, her uh, reflecting stickers, you can clearly see. And the back is also matte finishing, kind of reflecting the wall. And let's take a look at the inner sleeve. Mine has a slight tear spine again. Come on, camera. But other than that, it looks pretty good. And the whole printing is also matte, kind of slightly heavyweight paper. The whole design didn't use any image from the movie, which is why people criticize it, but it's also the reason why I praise it. So what makes me say this is brilliant? To answer this, we need to put together the core cool idea of her with the visual design. Oh, spoiler alert if you haven't watched her, and why haven't you watched it? Her is a movie about relationships, or more accurately, how relationships end. The end of Theodore's marriage with Catherine, the end of Theodore's relationship with his OS Mensa. And what do we use to celebrate relationships? Photos. Photo is the access to our memories. So the whole package just resembles a relationship where the front and the back of the album serve as the start and the end of the relationship. We put up the photo when a relationship starts and we take away the photo when it ends. And the records in between, it's the memories and emotions generated by the relationships. How brilliant is that? And the cleverness didn't stop here. A minimal design like this often weighs in heavily on arrangement and context. So here we need to examine the detail carefully. In the story, Samantha constantly feels insecure because she has no body. The cover uses the faceless girl photo and a post-it note on top symbolizing Samantha or Samantha and the surrogate body. If you look even deeper into the relationship between the context and the visual, you will see that the computer in the movie has similar white bezels, just like the picture frame. 
and the picture frame ratio here is actually similar to the phone shape in the movie. Interesting, right? The cool detail didn't stop here. The vinyl I have is white with red stickers. In the movie, the iconic OS system using the red and white color scheme, and on the B side, we have the black stickers resembling the system shot off. Also, the red and black reflecting the font color dividing the sewn list on the inner sleeve. And I would like to conclude the design section with philosopher Ellen Watts' wise word, who is also in the movie hinting at the core idea of the movie, one of his famous lectures called Life is Not a Journey. Life is not about getting from point A to point B, but enjoying the process when you live in it. This quote perfectly sum up this minimal album design. It is not the start or the end that define the relationship. The most important thing is the memories in between, which is the beautiful music this design contains. And next is the test of sound quality. The main problem people found was pop and crackles and high background noise, and we'll see if that's true or not. Okay, now let's talk about sound quality. I have my notes here on my phone. There are some problems. This vinyl is definitely not perfect. The biggest problem I have here is actually on site A, the uh, loneliness number three, night talking. That song somehow get really weird distortion for a track in the middle of the groove that shouldn't happen. And I record a whole thing. I'll show you guys later in the sample track. And that like made me thinking maybe the mastering of this vinyl wasn't optimal in a way, because that like distortion at the peak of the song, just really bad. Okay, there are some scratches already on the vinyl. So at certain place, it will have like constant pops. They'll be like, let's say your groove is going this way and then the scratch is going this way. So whenever the uh, needle going around, it'll be like pop like that. It wasn't too loud, but it's there. And you will do like certain like, you know, seven or eight pops and then gone. Like your needle kind of move out of the way from that scratch. So eh, yeah, the people on this clock saying is pretty true. It's not unbearable. It's just yeah, kind of disappointing. So the inner groove distortion, you know, uh, because of the minimal sound, the flutter and warping, of the vinyl will be pretty obvious, you know, since the song is minimal, that there's nothing to hide it. So when you go into the inner groove and they start to have weird compressions happening, that you can hear the uh, the piano sound or you know any kind of uh, instrument sounds will start to have a like wavy feeling. So in the file, in the normal digital one or in the CD, you wouldn't hear that. But in here, you'll hear like the song, let's say like a sound is but here would be like kind of like weird. So that made me feel like this album might not be the perfect material for vinyl. And also the mastering wasn't good in a way, but that only happened on that song, that you no know, weird compression that only happened on that song. Besides the track three and the uh, inner groove distortion, most of the song sounds fine. Like they sound okay. The background noise wasn't too high. I was using uh, headphone testing it and also the speaker testing it. The background noise wasn't too bad. It's just that the popping and scratching happens when it happens is pretty noticeable because the minimal music. So it's either like super minimal song or you know, let's say like huge uh, scale of classical and such that you will find that vinyl has a really hard time reproducing it. And this is one of them. It's underwhelming, I think, is a pretty accurate word on this pressing. Although the design, I really like the design. It just, the sound quality is mm, just one or two steps away from it. And I would definitely reach out to Milan Records and ask them about this because I feel that is a really weird situation that I never had before. I'll let you guys know what they said. That's the sound quality part. If you enjoy the show, please like, subscribe, and hit that weird bell too. It means a lot to me and to, to me. And let me know what's your thought in the comment section as always. We'll see you next time. Peace.